it got so so cold. Like I feel like it was just in the 70s. The other guy. So we got ourselves a 1987 BMW E30 325E five speed rear wheel drive. Now this thing is in a little bit of rough shape. It's got about 180,000 miles on the car. It's fairly stock. There's a few little modifications that have been done to it. So the entire reason of picking this car up is so we can build a drift car for the summer. So let me give you guys the uh, the grand tour of the grand touring, uh, not really, BMW that is gonna be our new project car here for the winter, for springtime, to go to drift. Somebody decided to paint this with house paint. Uh, if you can see like the shine and the, the gleam on it, whatever you're gonna call it, it is very much house paint. Uh, these are new fenders that the previous owner installed because the other ones were rusted out. We have 14 inch stock E30 wheels, uh, same wheels all around, and there are actually winter tires on the back of this, which would be good here in western Pennsylvania if you're actually driving this thing in the winter. But it sucks to have a set of spares that we could have used that we're not going to be able to use because they're drift tires. They're not because they're winter tires and they're not going to drift very well. So coming around to the side here, we don't have a front bumper and there's a little bit of damage here that looks like somebody hit something. Uh, there's no damage past this, but assuming that's why the bumper's not on here, it probably got crushed. The inside here is where we're going to get into some issues. So we have some spots on the floor that need to be fixed. Uh, there is some daylight coming through. Unfortunately, with these older BMWs, they have leaking sunroofs. The water comes in, leaks all into the floor, gets trapped in the carpet, and it just rots and rots and rots away. It's a super common issue. So we're gonna have to patch that and fix it to be solid for drifting. But other than the floor pans, everything else is in fairly good condition. So Ben should be here soon. We are gonna be running to uh, the Home Depot. We need to pick up a torpedo heater or some type of heater for this garage. There's no heat in here. Um, and it kind of stinks. And we're gonna be doing a ton of work in this garage this winter, so it's already like 35 degrees out and I'm freezing. Get all these sweet metalworking tools and then this thing like the doctor uses to <laughs> give you a little reflex check. You always tell me these things will cut through a penny, so I figure that's thinner than a penny. I would probably well. Is it really thinner than a penny? Oh yeah. Oh, that is stuff is thin. It'll cut right through that, but. Well, we could either use 16 gauge, which you can't form, you can't bead roll, you can't do anything cool with, or we could use 20 gauge, which is easier to work with. It's not, you're not doing anything structural, so you're just covering up a couple holes. Yeah. <laughs> you're so. gonna use like cardboard. Flexi seal, man. Flexi seal. Flexi. Cardboard and hope it never, the sunroof never leaked again. You say, say it. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, get it back up on the road and drive it. It's gonna get way out of hand just like everything does. Before you know, it's gonna have like a twin turbo LS with a Tremec in it and a Ford 9 inch. 105country.com. I was hoping you didn't have like an upside down, like, uh, you know, Christmas tree I was jamming that cup into or something. Oh boy. Some little story about what happened. Well, I went to, went to the Home Depot earlier this morning to get myself a heated hoodie for a big car show tomorrow. It's going to be 90% chance of rain. And, uh, they only had one one left. I got it and got it, got it back home and saw a little piece of scotch tape over the over the end. I knew something was up. Opened it. It's already out of the bag. Had dog hair all over it. it smelled like somebody smoked a pack of Marlboros in it. So it's going back, getting what, a freshie. Marlboro lights or cowboy killers? One hundreds. So. Yeah, fix, our, fix our problem of uh, a cold shop, aka a garage. Oh. Got a little high on your exposure here. Yeah, turn your ISO down. I just hit the record button. Yeah.
That's sweet. The wrench is on holes. Ooh. You got the switch on or something? As soon as you plug it in, it turns on. I don't know. Because this looks like it's just for the lighter mechanism. Should stop. That's a good way to get extra key. Have you never done this before? No, I'm saying I'm plugging something with one hand like that. Here, come look at this. How do you do this? What? Because it's probably there's You probably got it on the ignite thing. Here, hold this camera. Let me see what's going on here. Let it get a flam. No, why? It sounds like one of those funny cars, those jet cars. After doing a little bit of uh, more digging here and getting the car up on the quick jacks, um, it's pretty rusty underneath. Um, it's it's a 30 some, 40, it's like a 35 year old car, something like that, almost 35 years old. It's rusty underneath, it's gonna need it's gonna need some attention. We're probably gonna replace the brake lines on the car. It's probably the worst part in the fuel lines. Ben actually mentioned um, just running a fuel cell on the back so we didn't have to worry about those old fuel lines and there's uh, some rust around the the fuel tanks which it's strange there's there's like two fuel tanks in this thing it might just be one that kind of like goes over but the drive shaft runs like through the middle of it and there's a little connector that goes through that's pretty um pretty rusted and looks like it could just be brittle and just break at any point in time so you might end up running a fuel cell on this uh, the whole point of this project here is to have a drift car to be able to take to the track and just slide around and have some fun. We're gonna see how this goes. Um, after looking at it tonight, Ben said that's probably not really worth putting a ton of money into and like doing the turbo, uh, doing a turbo build or anything like that on it. We'll see how it goes though. I just want something to be able to slide around and have a good time at the, uh, the track days and be in uh, and be one of the guys out there just having having a good time. So. That's gonna end today's video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more E30 content in the future, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next one real soon. Peace.